Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode 590. Thymus and Alpha-1, a natural killer of viruses and cancer cells. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, medical director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Today, we're going to have a discussion about a a natural um, occurring substance that is made by the human body that protects us from viruses and from cancer. This particular substance is called a peptide or a piece of a protein. And we make it in uh, a, a gland you've probably never heard of, but is very important to you, and that's called the thymus gland. The thymus gland is right behind your breastbone here, and when you're a baby, it, it's like really big compared to your, their breastbone. As we get older, it gets shrunken, and it doesn't work as well. So uh, thymus, thym, the thymus gland makes T cells, T killer cells, T helper cells. Those are the cells called CD4 and 8 that kill cancer cells and kill viruses. Okay, so we're in the middle of a pandemic, okay? And we're in the middle of, um, we've got a virus that we're trying to figure out how to give immunizations, how to kill the virus, how to make us more resistant to the virus. And uh, the one answer is immunization or vaccines. What about natural immunization? When you get a virus, you develop antibodies. You develop a, a memory of T cells that actually well, next time you're faced with that virus, we'll go out faster and kill the virus sooner so that you don't experience an infection from a virus over and over and over again. So it helps build your um, immunity. So we're talking about something called thymusin alpha-1, which is made by your thymus gland and is a naturally um, produced peptide or protein. So... It is very effective against cancer and viruses. So here we, so here we are in uh, December of 2020, right when the pandemic is, is starting up. And for the six months to a year after that, all of a sudden, the um, FDA, which controls dangerous drugs, decides that in America we can't make or produce thymosin alpha-1. Now, it is actually used as an orphan drug for some different kinds of cancers that are impossible to to treat otherwise, but it is used by compounding pharmacies to treat people who don't have a normal immune system to help kill viruses. Also, people who have cancer and want to keep their cancer from coming back, we use it for that, and it is an injection, and it works. It suppresses uh, the cancer cells from growing because it stimulates your own immune system. Your own immune system is the best, but as we get older or as we get sicker, our immune system doesn't do its job as well. That's why people who are over 60 or 65 have much more trouble with the COVID virus or any virus or any infection because our thymus, thymusin that is made in our thymus gland is not there anymore. It's a much lower level. That's really the reason that being older is not as healthy as when we are younger. Our thymus doesn't work. So in the middle of this pandemic, our government decides we're not going to make this one little substance, which affected me because I had two patients who were on it to suppress a recurrence of their cancer. They were cancer-free, but nothing had kept their cancer from coming back before. They'd already gone through all the treatments. And they didn't appear to be completely treated by the radiation or the um, chemo 
that they had gotten in this last round to kill their cancer. So we tried something that would stimulate their own immune system to try to keep cancer cells from forming. And it had worked in both of these patients for over a year and a half. They, all the markers of the cancer had been zero. So then all of a sudden, instead of telling doctors, oh, you can't write it because they knew we would complain, they went to pharmacies that make thymosin alpha-1, and they told them they can't make it. So in the U.S., there is nobody, no compounding pharmacy that can make it. Now, it's not a FDA-approved drug because it's an orphan drug, and it's only used for a few different, different kinds of uh, cancers and conditions. So they, there is no big pharma that makes it. But that's not usually a problem because we can get a drug from compounding pharmacies that aren't made in bulk from a ph pharmaceutical company. Yet, if our government says we can't make it, we can't make it. And they stated that it didn't have enough research. Well, on my blog about this, there will be six, six research papers attached to it. And that's just the tip of the iceberg on testing thymosin alpha against cancer and against viruses. So there is a lot of research about it. And there is no reason it's not dangerous. There is no reason to suppress it. So why suppress it? I mean, my only thought as a physician is they don't want us to kill the virus with our own bodies. They don't want us to use this treatment to actually improve our immune system so we don't need uh, a vaccine. That may be because the whole push was control of our lives and having us take vaccines and having us wear masks so and limiting our activity. So this would be a way out for some people. The sad part is this is not something we were treating COVID with. We were treating people who have had cancer several times and did not want to get cancer back because there was no other treatment. So I have a personal interest in making sure that I'm allowed as a physician to make decisions as a physician to take care of my patients. Well, when this was shut down at the compounding pharmacy level, when the FDA threatened them, shut their whole operation down uh, because they were making this one peptide, they had to stop making the peptide. And I was left with nothing for these patients. So there is nothing that is acceptable to treat them with their particular cancers at this time. There's nothing to help them. And they took away my only um, method of treatment. I, th I kind of thought I was living in freedom. So as a physician, I could choose the treatment for my patient, but I found out quickly that I can't. And uh, I think most of us found out that um, we are not able to make our own choices. I mean, we're being mandated to do certain things that we may or may not find to be acceptable for us. For example, some people are sick, they have autoimmune diseases, they have other diseases that they can't take a vaccine. They just can't take it. So that means their activity is going to be limited. They can't fly. They can't go to a concert. I had to show my vaccine card um, at a basketball game downtown St. Louis. I mean, uh, that is bizarre to me. And we were all wearing masks, so I didn't understand that at all. Uh, and the vaccine, as we now know, doesn't really keep us from getting COVID. It may decrease the severity, but it isn't keeping us from getting the, va getting the uh, virus. So I, I just want you to know <laughs> that there is something out there that would help your body be stimulated so that you would be able to kill the virus uh, before you get it and improve your immune system and kill it naturally without having to have a vaccine. And I want you to know that um, there's something going on, and I don't know what it is, that is working behind the scenes to prevent people who know some of the answers from using them to help keep people healthy. So at BioBalance, we try to keep people healthy by giving them their hormones back and giving them, because uh, testosterone improves the thymus gland and it improves naturally th uh, thymosin uh, alpha-1. But if you need a large amount of it to fight a cancer or an autoimmune disease or a virus, it doesn't stimulate it that much. It will help your immunity, but not in a huge fashion. So it's not enough. We 
advocate being healthy and taking uh, supplements to improve our, uh, our immune system like zinc and uh, using quercetin, which is a, just a supplement that will help the zinc get into the cells. So we do advocate that, but for a while they had told us that we couldn't tell our patients about vitamin D and zinc, which we got a letter, you know, from the FDA to the doctor saying that we should not do that, which I, I was very confused about and no one had an answer for. So uh, because getting healthy is the whole point of preventing any kind of disease, cancer or viruses. So that's a mystery to me too. Um, one of the things that um, they say in one of, the, one of the research articles is in the Journal of Virology, and it was December of 2020, uh, thymosin alpha-1 is a peptide naturally occurring in the thymus gland that has been recognized for modifying, enhancing, and restoring immune, human immune system. The thymosin alpha-1 has been utilized in the treatment of immune-compromised patients, like AIDS, and malignancies as an enhancer of a vaccine response and as a means of curbing morbidity and mortality in sepsis. That means when you have an overwhelming infection and in numerous uh, infections. World Journal of Virology, December 2020, in the middle of a pandemic. So we find something, it's going to work, and then they say, mm, we can't use it. So... Um, that's also, it should be upsetting to you. It's upsetting to me. Uh, but the problem is they didn't limit us to just not treating COVID with it. They limited us to treating anyone with it. And for my patients with cancer, that's a big deal. I know two patients out of thousands. I don't care. That's two people. And that limits their ability to fight their cancer. So um, they may. this may be an issue... For me, after I uh, air this, I doubt it, because at this point, most people have been vaccinated and they've gotten what they want. But um, I think this is an alternative to all of the terrible um, side effects we're getting from vaccines and from the COVID virus. I, I personally um, ended up having to, um, to experience one of these things. My very healthy husband who... Um, got his second J&J &J vaccine um, on January 3rd, developed a cough on January 4th. And after a week of thinking it was something else, because of course it couldn't be COVID, he just got immunized, uh, we found that he had a very large pulmonary emboli right in the middle of his chest, right in the middle of his lungs. And it entered all parts of his, uh, every lobe of his lungs. I, and they were surprised that he looked as good as he did, but it was life-threatening. So he had to be hospitalized. He had to undergo a lot of treatment. He still um, can't go on a plane. He still can't exercise. He still can't do anything really uh, active because of this side effect. And when I said to the doctors he just had his vaccine before the symptoms started, they poo-pooed me because I guess they're drinking the Kool-Aid. I don't know. They believe it was COVID itself and not, the, and not the vaccine. There are many cases of the COVID vaccine causing just exactly what this is, pulmonary emboli. There are also uh, the other vaccines cause myositis or uh, breakdown of the muscle of the heart. And so many people have heart diseases. So it's not without risk. And we have something that is without risk, it doesn't hurt anybody, just improves the immune system, and we're trading one for the other. I just want you to think about that and think about how ridiculous that is. If it's you, then it's very important to prevent ever getting COVID, prevent getting it so that you might die or have a side effect of the vaccine that might kill you. I mean, it's a big deal. It is not nothing. Everybody says, oh, it's without risk. You just go get it. I see lots of patients who have side effects to the vaccine and patients who have, have people who have died from, from just getting COVID without the vaccine. There's no good answer to this, but stimulating your own immune system, getting healthy, exercising, lowering your weight, taking vitamin D and, and zinc, um, and if we had access to it, taking thymosin alpha-1 
would be good answers to preventing infection, preventing cancer um, with this one tiny little piece of a protein. So I want you to think about that when you hear all of the data. I, I will have these articles about thymosin alpha-1. It's probably not just the only thing that's been prevented during this pandemic, but it is the one that I'm interested in. And it's an example of what we're going through does not make sense medically. And I think we should actually know that. I'm immunized. I don't think that everyone should be immunized. I, don't, I mean, I knew I took a chance. I, had a, a, a not, I knowingly took my immunization to be prevented from getting a severe COVID infection, and so did my husband. But we didn't expect that type of um, complication. And it, it is not without risk to do either or. So please think about that when you're getting vaccinated or when... Uh, when your friends or are talking about, oh, you shouldn't get vaccinated, oh, you should get vaccinated, it's a personal decision. How high, how high a risk are you? If you're at high risk for the vaccine, you've had pulmonary emboli before, or you've had blood clots, then don't get the J&J &J vaccine, get the other vaccine. But if you have had heart problems, don't get the, don't get the one that causes heart problems, which is uh, the mRNA vaccines. You have to know the difference and then get the one that is the best for you. So please think about that before going for treatment and prevention um, of either COVID or of uh, cancer. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.